Coach Carlos, uh, first of all, good evening. Good evening. We are at your home uh, right after the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations draw. Uh, what is your reactions? What did you? What's your take on the draw results with regards to to Rwanda? First of all, welcome here. And uh, let's see. I think uh, after the draw, we can we can say that we will have our possibilities. Um, I think. Uh, for sure, we know that the, the actual champion uh, Senegal will be the, the let's say the, the most difficult team in the group, and, and a priority is the team who, who should finish uh, qualifying in first position. But we never know in football; we have to play every game. But uh, for sure, will be a big fight for 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 Mozambique and for us and for Benin to 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 keep our chances. And I, I really trust that we will have our chances, and and I'm optimistic. I'm optimist after the draw. Thank you. Uh, With this format and two teams, only two teams have to to go out and to qualify for for the last tournament. Uh, what do you think, in your opinion, is the best way to approach the games, the three team, the three games in home, the three games away, and even the the whole uh, qualifying tournament because it's going to be played within a short time frame. So I think, uh, wh how do you plan, how do you want to approach the, 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 the qualifiers? Okay, there is uh, there is six, uh, there are six games, this is not a lot. Um, for me, the secret or, or the key uh, is in our home games. Uh, I think we have to be very strong at home games. We have to take points at, at home games. We need the supporters. I'm sure the supporters will be with us. I'm sure that we will make that the supporters feel uh, brought from from the national team, I'm sure about that. And for me, the key is uh, these three games at home to be very strong. And for sure, after that, uh, the three games away, we have to to also fight. And but for me, the key is is to be very strong at home to to take as much uh, points as possible uh, here in Rwanda. And then we our our chances will will be open. And and for me, the most important is fight until until the last game with with uh, with the possibilities to to qualify. I know it's still early. Uh, uh, do you have some, you know, preliminary information on the teams against which Rwanda was drawn today? Now we have to start to analyze because before uh, it was not sense because we didn't know it is a lot of teams. For sure, we we we, we have information is very simple from from Senegal. And also from Benin and from Mozambique, uh, I know that uh, we beat them last uh, last time here. So we, we, we have to repeat the same result here and try to get better result away. But um, but no, now is the moment to start to, to, to make good analysis from, from the opponents and we start our hard job uh, from now because now we are we know where we are and we know which, uh, which teams we have to face. So let's start to to make our job and, uh, uh, you know you must be happy having had uh, a calf taking a decision to you know to 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 remove four games up to two two games in june i think before four games in space of 14 days it was i don't know if i could say crazy but uh, <laughs> uh, but two games in the space of 14 days 14 days i think it's it's good and easy for preparation for sure, for me, it was was very crazy when when we had this information that we had to play four games in in 14 days uh, because it's not good. It's not good for the players. It's not good also for me that I am new in 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 the position here. And now with these two games, for sure, we have much more much more time to to prepare these two games because these two games will be very very important uh, to 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 keep going uh, in in the group stage and. Uh, and to play only two games, we have more time to analyze, more time to prepare every game, single game, and more, more time to recover for the players, more time for, for everything. No? And especially now, the situation with, with me and Rwanda, that um, I am new here, so it's much much simple to start with, uh, with only two games. Yeah, I know it's only three weeks that you have started the job, but uh, uh, you have done a lot in these three weeks. Can you tell us, the public, a little bit about an insight on what you've been doing these last three weeks 
uh, fans have been seeing you on you know stadiums watching league games cup games yeah just an insight on what you are doing what you are uh, what you are preparing uh, i know you will have a time to 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 talk with the media and, and the public but uh, it doesn't take away the fact that you also have to share with them what you are doing the insight the pathway up to up to june well <coughs> me before saying as, as i say in the interview in another interview uh, before saying i make uh, analyze from from the national team i see the last the last 10 games from from rwanda um, to follow the players which are not in the country let's say it's more it's easier but now these 15 days i start to focus more with the with the players with the local players let's say with the players who are playing in the local league and I'm surprised in in good way. I, I I see good competition. I see good atmosphere also in the in the stadiums. And and I'm happy with these 15 days. We have a lot of job to do because the time is not in our sight, as as many times we say. But uh, but in general, I'm happy. I'm convinced. And now is our our turn to convince the supporters because I know that if we give them what they expect, they will be with us. But now is our job to, to show them that uh, we are ready to, to compete uh, every game and we are ready to, to feel them proud to, to, to their national team. My last question is even related to the fans, as you, you mentioned. What is your message to, to them before we, we take on this campaign uh, of Afri Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers, but we also have another uh, upcoming uh, tournament, the uh, African Nations Championship, which is played by uh, local players. Uh, what is your key message? What is your what do you expect from the fans? Because you will of course need the, 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 the all the players that you will select, but you also need the fans around the team to be supporting and cheering on the team. Uh, what do you uh, uh, want from these fans? What's your message to them before we take on these uh, two um, campaigns? Okay, so first of all, I want to say that uh, I feel very, very good in the in general in the country, and especially when when I go to the stadiums uh, with the with the supporters, with with the fans, I I, I feel I feel very good, and and for me, I just can say. I think not only me, any coach in the world can promise results because this is not in our hands. But what I can promise is that this team will fight, this team will compete, and this team will feel proud of the supporters to this team. This is this is sure. And what I can say to the supporters just to to be with us, uh, to help us, because as I, as I say before, for me the the key and the important is the local, the, the home games, and and if we play with 12 will be will be better no and and i am sure i'm totally sure that the, the supporters will be with the team and together we can get our our objective thank you very much mucho gracias murakoze in kinyarwanda murakoze de nada thank you very much